It is possible to edit the dimension text of existing dimensions or to change its appearance by applying another dimension style. You can even modify the geometry of a dimension element by moving the dimension line or text or by adding, moving, or removing extension lines using the regular element modification tools. In this lesson, you will learn how to change dimensions. Continuing in annotating designs.dgn in the ground floor plan model, zoom to the linear dimensions in the corridor. On the Home tab in the Modify group, select Modify Element. Select the horizontal dimension line and move it upward or downward. Select one of the dimension text and move it along the dimension line to the left or right. Suppose you pick one dimension and point too many. On the Home tab, in the Modify group, select Delete Vertex. Select one of the extension lines to remove it. See how the dimension text is automatically updated? In case you forgot to dimension a certain point, you can easily add it afterwards. On the Home tab in the Modify group, select Insert Vertex. First, select the horizontal dimension line and then snap to the point you want to dimension. An extension line is added. In case you snap to the wrong point, you can move an extension line afterwards to correct it. Select Modify Element, select the extension line, and snap to the correct point. The dimension text on both sides of the extension line are updated. This is how you can edit dimension text. In the next exercise, we'll show you how to modify the text itself. On the Annotate tab in the text group, select Edit Text. Select a dimension text. In the text editor, the automatically generated dimension text is represented by an asterisk. You can replace the asterisk or add text before or after it. Replace the asterisk by the text Hello and click in the view. Here's a hint. You can always return to the automatically generated dimension text by retyping the asterisk. To change the appearance of a dimension, you can assign it to another dimension style. On the Annotate tab in the Dimensioning group, select the Change Dimension tool. In the Tool settings, set the dimension style to DIM01. Following the prompt, select the dimension element and accept with a data point. Note that the dimension is changed. In this lesson, you learned how to change dimensions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.